Let's begin. Today, we're in the key of D minor at 52 BPM, and this is a lo-fi track. So to start off, what I begin with are the piano chords. Simple roads. So the roads are coming out of keyscape. Real nice, real subtle. And all I did was turn the reverb up, added um, a little bit of auto panning so that, you know, that there is a little bit of motion. And it's just simple chords. That was, that was the key. Keep it as simple as possible. Because it's all about the vibe. It's not always about technicality. Next is the bass. And the bass is coming straight out of Trillion. Simple, simple acoustic bass. Stick. Chapman stick. And already, we already established a vibe. Like literally can just throw drums on top of this and play for like two minutes and it, we're, we're good. But we added a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of sauce to it. So next, after I have this as a bass, I needed some atmosphere. So I used this pad for a little bit of extra vibes. Hey, give you that chill feeling. Coastals and for the effects, I didn't add anything. I just turned up the delay just a little bit. But not too much to drown out what's going on. Next is the guitar. And the guitar is following the piano chord, so everything is in motion together. Everything's moving together. Now the guitar. It's the jazz guitar pick And all I did was run it through a different amp A tad bit of delay on it And I just played them chords Cause with, it, with the guitar you gotta play the guitar Even if you're using a, a MIDI piano you still gotta play chords And it's just that vibe That vibe is nice Next, I felt like I still had to add one more element, and it's this, and it's this pluck. And it's playing with the guitar, so I have the piano slightly left, the pad slightly right, and then I have the main guitar, and then I have this, pl this pluck slightly left and slightly right. So that way I have the whole image field. Everything's got its own space. Now this pluck is coming out of Omnisphere. And as you can hear, the pluck is going with the guitar. So the pluck is playing first and it's going into the, the main guitar. And I think all I did was turn, I turned up the reverb and I turned up the delay on this. It, it was just, the atmosphere it was very necessary, so it gets that tail in. And all of these are stock sounds. All I did was just tweak them just a tad bit to make everything fit, and that's all you have to do. It's the vibe. Now let me unmute the drums. Let me unmute the drums real quick and you'll get the whole entire picture. Can I get some drums, please? Everything. 
everything fits well together there's not too many notes playing at one time everything's got its own space and that's that's really the key that you give it that laid back vibe you know you got piscato i don't know how to say that shit. in staccato notes and you just you just play it out so no fast chord, no fast plugs, no fast chords, no fast notes. Everything's just laid back. It's all about a vibe. back and just chill just always remember everything needs its own space just make sure that if you got some long notes make sure that you your next instrument is playing shorter notes that way there's no clash in frequency so I normally play instruments in different octave ranges and I do that with the notes as well. That way, give give it enough space, pan everything a little bit left and a little bit right, wider, a little bit off wider than an, another instrument to give you that image feel, so that you don't have to throw an imager on everything on your on your uh, your instrument bus. And boom, let's go with the vibes. I hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching. <laughs>